for my birthday in 2022, one of my best friends got me this amazing gift to go to a local flower farm and to pick a bouquet of flowers. This farm is called Blossom and Branch and it's in like the Applewood area outside of downtown Denver. You drive up into this normal looking neighborhood and you're like, how is there a flower garden here? Like, what are we gonna be doing? Neither one of us have ever been here or done this or really even known anybody who's done it. So we had no idea what to expect. So we park our car on the road and we walk up to this stranger's house and off to the side, their driveway goes into a two acre backyard and it is filled with flowers, flowers of every variety. And depending on when you go, the flowers will be completely different. So you could choose to pick flowers in June and then have a completely different bouquet in July and a completely different bouquet in August and then again in September. Of course, to be able to get in that many times would be a miracle because you have to get reservations in February for the summer months and they, they book out so quickly. So we walk up from the driveway into the garden space and you go to the very back of the garden space and they have this beautiful little, it's, you can't even call it a shed because it's huge and there's like this grand table in it for them to have events and there's homemade lemonade and there's snacks and it's all of us just kind of waiting and getting excited before our little workshop begins and we learn how to properly cut the flowers and some tips on making bouquets so that like you can fill more flowers in your jar because you just bring a large wide mouth mason jar that you're gonna fill with these bouquets. I loved every minute of this experience. I loved connecting with the flowers. I loved getting to choose the flowers that spoke to me. I didn't have much of a plan going in. I was just like, I like that one, I like that one. Someone gave me the tip of making sure the stems are really long so that you can get more in. Um, I, you just kind of go crazy and you just make you just make a bouquet and it's just kind of, it's chaos and it's fun and there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's just creativity with nature. And I loved my bouquet. I was so attached to this bouquet that I was like, how do I make this last forever? So I did this painting of it. The painting's in gouache paint. It is only of the flowers and the mason jar with no background because I wanted all of the focus to come back to this magical bouquet that I got to cut myself. And I will say, I did love the bouquet enough that when the flowers started to wilt, I hung them upside down and dried them and they still live in my house now, just as a dried bouquet, as a memory of the amazing beauty in life that they were, and still a little offering of magic today. So if you are in need of some fresh flowers in your home, a little bit of magic that only nature can provide, this painting is for you.